pretty much working with this uh, creek project. First of all, just to get paid, you know, I need the money. It actually feels good giving back to the community, you know. We're learning something about the environment and how to keep every, our creeks and oceans clean. We're at a Sycamore Creek building a bioswale. What it is is a natural water filter for the street, um, Soledad. When the water runoff comes during storms, it's full of gross stuff from your cars, just from washing your car, anything gets in the street, it'll flow into here and start coming down this 1% grade and flow it on really slow and kind of loop around here. We're gonna make kind of a maze for it. That's why we're making this thing so it grows around and the plants can absorb. And we're gonna plant native plant species here and fill it in with rocks too. And what it's gonna do is naturally filter all the gunk in the water that's gonna slowly come through here. The trash, all the trash that's coming in through the creeks and going to the oceans, you know, and the oceans you're swimming at, all the oil and detergents that go in there and uh, actually raise the bacteria levels. So what we're doing here is uh, trying to reduce the amount of pollution that goes into our creeks. Now we have to keep it clean, just so the city's cleaner and less pollution around the beaches and stuff. Uh, we're here at Soledad Street um, checking out uh, Sycamore Creek and our bioswale that we did over the summer to see if it's uh, actually doing its job in filtering all the pollutants. So we're here at uh, Sycamore Creek at the end of uh, Soledad Street and uh, this is a finished product of a bioswale that we were working on all summer and uh, it looks pretty different, you know, we got all these plants and it looks like it's actually doing its job, actually catching the trash right there. And uh, as far as pollutants go, uh, hopefully it is stopping some of it, you know, some of the runoff. And we have all these native plants in here and uh, these rocks that'll hopefully uh, keep the brims up. Trash comes from down the street and all these streets are all connected. So like all the runoff, detergents, um, oil, big storms that all come down here and uh, go into there and go down all this, the bioswale, all this 1% grade and um, hopefully this will work and it'll be here for a, a long time, you know, filtering the water. So pretty much um, what this does is uh, it's supposed to catch all the water runoff and trash and uh, keep the creeks clean so um, all the trash will just get caught up in here and not go to the creeks. Do you guys think it's important to uh, have healthy creeks and beaches? Yes. Why do you think it's important? Because we don't want our beaches dirty. Alright, well we made it. We came down to the creek, picked up some trash, educated some kids on you know, the, the state of our creeks and our oceans so far. And here's another look at the bioswell and hopefully this will, hopefully this will be here for, for years to come. It's good that there's a trash can by the creek because people, instead of throwing it inside the creek, will throw it in the trash can. Hopefully it'll work out and people will pollute less and throw trash less. What are you guys gonna do from now on to keep the creeks clean around here? Pick up the trash. So, so what are you guys gonna tell people when you see them like throwing trash in the crease or something? Don't do it, don't do it, pick it up. We're here at uh, Henry's Beach and Arroyo Borough Creek and um, I just thought I'd stop someone and ask them a couple questions about the pollution in our oceans and stuff. So um, pretty much what happens is all the trash and detergents and all the oil that comes from the streets goes into our creeks. As you can see, our creeks end up in these beaches and actually raise the bacteria level so it's unsafe for people to actually do any like swimming in the beaches. Do you feel that it's important for uh, the community to like get involved in like trying to keep our oceans and beaches clean? Absolutely it is. It's, 
it's our trash, it's our pollution, so we need to be aware of it and we need to do something about it. I live here on the Mesa, so I enjoy the ocean and, and the dolphins and fishing and all those things, so, but certainly I recognize that everything's connected and it matters for the health of the whole environment, for all of us, and uh, for everything. It's all interconnected. I think it's important for young people such as myself to uh, go around and educate the community and uh, about pollution and all our creeks and oceans? Absolutely I do, because certainly the young people are our future, and they are the people who are either making it better or making it worse, and I think it's vital. When the media is involved, it exposes us to so many more people, so that's why I think it's so important just the exposure aspect of it. The young people out there doing the media today is they're the ones doing like the creative shots out here. Like other media groups don't do that. They don't care. They just want to come out here for five seconds, get the get the show and leave. But people are doing creative shots, they're getting involved, they're trying to relate, being talking about their Hispanic roots with the kids. Uh, it's important for the Latino community to be involved just because uh, I don't know, it's most of us out here, I mean, they call us a minority, but we're actually the majority out here in Santa Barbara, and, if, you know, if we're the ones that are, like, creating all this trash, then what are people going to think about us, you know? Just throwing stuff in the creeks like it's nothing, and uh, just keep our beaches clean, because the creeks actually go to the beaches.